need some backup singers. Oh, that's the wrong part. This is the only <laughs> voice from the LGBTQ community. We're live on 990 Talk Radio, and we're sitting here in the quiet zone with your true SDK. We got a fake key sweat in the house. <laughs> and our core principal education and enrichment and empowerment. We are back. We're going to find out what the L is in the LGBTQ element of P. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> We ready. Let's go. Let's go. Blast off. All right. Let's go. Um, you you want to give a rundown of who you are? Uh, my name is Virginia Alford, and um, I'm here with my lovely lady, Paige and Hannah. Whole name. Whole name. Let's say her whole name. Just Paige. Yeah. Well, turn up. We got to turn up. What's the L to you? What's our first name? Mm. You said Paige Lynn. Paige. Oh, oh. <laughs> Paige, you from Mississippi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, can see, we can see that. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. First name. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the L to you? What's the L to you? I like to call her Munchkin, so I'm going to call her Munchkin. We're not going to call her Paige. Okay. What's the L to you? The L to me. It, um, it stands for love and not just in the... Um, the relationship sense of the word. Um, but I would say love enough, love for yourself to um, accept yourself and um, who you are. Right. And it, it takes a lot of that and it takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of understanding of the world and yourself. And um, that's that's what it represents to me. Well, uh, Virginia, uh, how has your life since you have a subject, uh, such public life, uh, affected your um, sexuality, if it has? Well, I've been blessed to, to not really have come across a lot of incidents where my sexual orientation has been challenged. Mm -hmm. Although, um, I do have an issue of, with males, Okay. They tend to don't believe me. <laughs> I, Cause I, you fine, ain't she fine? <laughs> don't believe me, just watch. Right, John, is she fine? Is she fine? See, <laughs> <laughs> they say um, you're you're too attractive to be gay or to be a lesbian, mm -hmm. and um, that's the pretty much the only thing I come across. And Paige can elaborate. Um, men will say certain things to her yeah. that they wouldn't say if I was dating a man. Yeah. They're not going they they would dare tell, you know, my boyfriend or my husband or whatever what they would say to Paige. So, that's pretty much they just don't believe me and they just say, you know, if you want to come back my way or swing back my way or, you know, they typically just stay in that area and then when they get to know me, it just gradually goes away. But so, isn't it funny that uh, people often equate uh, your sexuality with sex, right, and that that's the cure all, right, <laughs> to uh, yeah. to turn turn you back as if you had a magic wand over your head to go kaboom. Now you're a lesbian, <laughs> right? So for the listeners <laughs> that are wondering what's the L in LGBTQ, because uh, we often get asked, believe it or not, what the acronyms are. So the L today is lesbian. So that's what we're discussing uh, with our uh, guests in the studio. And I think that was, that was great, uh, Virginia, on how you broke that down, you know, living a, a public life uh, such as yourself. You know, you just featured in the Southern Soul magazine. Yes. Well, hold yes. on before you go to that. Okay. I, um, um, what you just said, I think that this is my opinion. This is Clemens. I think. <laughs> uh, those are my cufflinks. No, these are mine. Oh, no. I, I think you people have it easier than I do. Yes. You I'll people. Concur. You, you people. Yes. You know who you, you sound people. like saying that? You I people. Get that. Who? Be like my a racist. I just said you people. I'm surrounded by you people. Right, John. <laughs> I got four lesbians surrounding me. What? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know Eddie was a lesbian. He a nurse. He a nurse. <laughs> Lady. But no, seriously. Uh, you all have it easier. Yes, we do. If you're a pretty woman mm -hmm. and you are a same gender loving or a lesbian, you got a mate. Yeah. Because yes. the, the men would test the water and they would continue to mess with you trying to change convert me. you back. Convert me back. You you hold a time out. I, I rebuked that. Okay. Uh -oh. You can rebuke. Lucia! <laughs> <laughs> he can hit on all the time. 
Okay. In spite of even the women knowing that he's, you know, uh, he wore makeup. Who wore makeup? <laughs> you said you it just said your Lucia, makeup was Lucia. Lucia. You just said your makeup was running. It's, Did you say that? it's haters everywhere. <laughs> but no, but no, the issue is this. No, for real. <laughs> I, I can say this. Women have it easier in society than men do. If you don't believe me, call 901-260-5926. 901-260-5926 to get in on this conversation. Lesbian women have it easier than gay men. Because of the yes. role that society put men in. Right. Okay. The, the, the masculine assignment, what is masculinity mm -hmm. and all of that. And then they take women to be, you know, the lesser role. Mm -hmm. Right. And, you know, the recessive type of, of role in a relationship. And, and men will often say, I'll take two women in the bed any day. Right. It's like a man right. fantasy. You it's know. Yeah. I had a honky tonk, but don't get down. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend that only two like men it. in the bed. Oh, oh no. no. Well, not not like that, but she, you know, hey, hey, I I'm just saying. So her thing was, why can't I? Well, you know what? <laughs> I, I believe not that. to say I, not to say for them to uh for their legs to touch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, for what? <laughs> 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 Lucia's page, Lucia. Yeah, for her pleasure, her pleasure. That's what right. she wanted. But you right. know, the, the other way around, they were often say, "Hey, I take both of y'all home." Right. You and Paige. Yeah. Paige. Paige is fine, but Paige, go buy you a stun gun. And next time, <laughs> and next time he come in your face, I'm asking, "Give me your woman, Virginia." Say, "Come a little closer." And go, <laughs> and wet his tail out. He say, "Look here." <laughs> Thank you, go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. She knows I, I can handle myself. She know that. Yeah. Yeah, Virginia is rough now. She would so, fight. So, Paige, uh, you know, you're in the middle. You're, you're in the uh, centerfold of this Southern Soul <laughs> magazine for the month of April. That's my song playing. Yeah. And Listen to it. So, it's a great article. Honk your tongue, but don't the dog. No, I'm trying to be serious, Claire. Okay, go ahead, get serious. Go ahead. You and this engineer are going to get put out, both y'all. All right, All right go ahead. Um, so, like I was saying, you guys are in the feature this month, so if you all haven't seen the magazine, go out and get one. I got it's a problem. very, very interesting article. It's a depth, it, it, it's, it's very exploration of same gender love relationship mm -hmm. between two women, and it's great. The photos are, are very professionally done. You guys look wonderful in this magazine. Thank you. Yeah. So, Prosperous. So people are going to be walking up to you like, I know you're from somewhere. Mm -hmm. So in this public um, public life, you just put y'all just put it out there. Uh, has that affected, like, how does that affect your sexuality, you know, in any way? Question to Paige. Um, it, it's a little different for me being uh, feeling so exposed when it first came out and I saw how long the spread, how big the spread was, I was taken aback. Um, I've always been pretty quiet and pretty private. Um, and for, you know, growing up in the area, growing up in Holly Springs, <laughs> <laughs> Mississippi. You look cows. You, look, you got a farm down there? No. <laughs> Um, to not have really uh, confirmed, you know, a lot of the rumors that have gone around since I graduated high school, um, to just kind of be out in this way is a little different for me. But, I've, like I said, I've been comfortable with who I am for a very long time. So, you know, I'm, I'm ready for anything that may come my way, positive and negative. Um, I've had a lot of support receiving mess messages from people I did grow up with who necessarily didn't know, but voice and support. Um, for for who I've grown into and and who I've become and, and come to be comfortable with myself, so that that was nice to see and, and nice to, a nice thing to feel um, in the community as well. So I, I, I definitely commend um, Southern Soul Magazine for taking this on and 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 risking um, take taking the risk that they have to feature us in an article. Yeah. Well, Paige, let me say this. Self-acceptance is the number one thing to uh, getting to know yourself and discovering the real you. Mm -hmm. Once you begin to accept the real you, everything else is like lightweight, it's, it falls it's off. Falls off. It's, it becomes easy. Mm -hmm. Loving yourself and being who you are, being who God made you to be, is the best thing and the best discovery in the world. And life is about risk anyway. Good yes. risk. Yes, right, right. If you're not taking any risk in life, doing the good things, heck, you're not living. 
And you know, one of the things that I I, I tried to uh, instill in Davian when he thought he was in the closet. Wait a minute, don't put, don't make no, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna speak she on you right here. I yeah. was in the closet. Don't yeah. make no decisions about me without me. <laughs> Hello, somebody. He thought he was in the closet. And, uh, Keep it in the closet. Your tongue was already at. <laughs> People already know, you know. It's like right. I always said it was like the, the, the emperor's. With, doesn't realize he's naked. People know you're naked. Come on out that closet. I mean, right. they do. They know. I was a player back in my day. <laughs> oh gosh. I player. had a plethora of women. <laughs> a so, harem of women. <laughs> women. A stable. Plethora. So right. the objective is to come out. And actually, believe it or not, what you just said. You know, I come in Southern Magazine, Southern Soul Magazine, also, because it's nothing like opening up a magazine. Because I'm a taxpayer, I'm a, I, I pay, I'm a citizen that pay, I patronize a lot of businesses, opening up a magazine and then seeing someone that's reflective of me. And we don't have that enough in our city. We have a very diverse uh, population here in Memphis, Tennessee. And it's about time that they recognize that this is not an invisible community. Right. You know, like I always tell people, the LGBTQ community spends over $800 billion, billion dollars a year. So we are viable citizens, we are taxpayers, we're workers, we do all of these things. So if you don't want our money, stop taxing us. You know, stop taxing us. And, and I think that the magazine did something very, very uh, daring and it's about time. So get on board, start using your resources. There are a lot of people in this community that have a lot of potential and can bring a lot of business to your businesses. Right. In the LGBTQ community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. We're going to break number two, our last break for the show. We'll be back with the lovely Foxy couple, Virginia Aqua and Paige Hanna, Montana. No, Munchkin. And <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. And this is the Unleashed Voice for the LGBTQ community. Sitting here with the baddest woman in the show business, the G to the Q. And we're going to take a pause for the cause, and we will be right back. 8 9 9.